hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have k to the power of 4 is equals to k minus 1 to the power of 4 and we solve this problem for all the values of k so here we need to find all the roots of this equation so uh, for this uh, the very first thing we are going to do is here first uh, we need uh, to move uh, this a k to the power of 4 to the right hand side and it will be written as k minus 1 to the power of 4 this is positive term when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes negative and this whole equation is equal to 0 so here uh, we rewrite this equation as now uh, first we have k minus 1 to the power of 4 and it will becomes here k minus 1 uh, whole square and its whole square we break this 4 as in this form and minus we again break this k to the power of 4 as k square and its whole square and this whole equation is equals to 0. So further in the next step we need to use here the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b. So according to this formula, uh, you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b. So according to the below formula, we write here our power equation as in this form. So first you have a minus b, the value of a is k minus 1 square minus the value of b is k square and the second factor is a plus b the value of a is k minus 1 square plus the value of b is k square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here further in the next step we need to break uh, this equation and we write this equation as uh, so first we write k minus 1 whole square minus k square equals to 0 and secondly we write it as k minus 1 whole square plus k square equals to 0 so we call this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2 so in order to find all the roots of given equation we need to solve these two simultaneous equations so that now here first we need to equation number 1 and we get the roots from equation number 1 so that uh, from equation number 1 we have here we again use uh, this nice formula uh, so according to uh, this formula we write this equation as First you have a minus b and from here we write it as k minus 1 minus k into the second factor is a plus b and we have k minus 1 plus k and this whole equation equals to 0. And now you see here this is negative k and positive k are cancelled out by each other and we get here minus 1 times this is k plus k becomes 2k minus 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So further we need to multiply this negative sign on both of these two values and it will become here minus 2k plus 1 is equals to 0. So further we move this minus 2k to the right hand side and it will become here 1 equals to plus 2k. So for the values of k we need to divide both of the sides by 2 so when we divide by 2 it will be written as in this form so this 2 and this 2 are cancelled out by each other and we will get here k is equals to 1 over 2 so this is the value of k which we get here from first equation and now here uh, in order to find the other uh, roots of given equation we need to solve equation number two so that here first we need to copy down equation number two here okay so from equation number two we have uh, this is k minus one whole square plus k square is equals to zero this is the our equation number two and here we use the nice algebraic formula to solve this equation so here you know about that if we have a minus b whole square is equals to a square minus 2 times of a b plus b square so we apply here this nice formula uh, to the first term of the above equation so this term uh, is written as after applying this formula so this will becomes uh, k square minus 2 times of k into 1 
plus 1 square and plus this is our k square is equal to 0. So here we need more simplification and it will be written as this k square plus k square becomes 2 times of k square. This is minus 2k and plus this is 1 square becomes 1 and this whole equation is equal to 0. So you see here this equation will become quadratic equation in k variable. Uh, so uh, you know about that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation. The first method is by applying the quadrat uh, factorization method. Second one is uh, by applying the quadratic formula. The, and third one is completing square method okay so, but here we can just use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation now so for this we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 2 b is equals to minus 2 and c is equals to plus 1 so this is the um, these are the coefficients of the above equation and we state the quadratic formula as k is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and here we need to substitute the values of a b and c uh, so when we put all of these values here it will becomes k is equals to this is minus b the value of b is minus 2 plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 2 square minus 4 times of a is 2 and c is 1 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 2 so uh, here we need more simplifications and it will be written as k is equals to this is minus times of minus becomes plus 2 and plus minus square root of minus 2 square becomes 4 and 4 times of 2 is written as in this form okay this is 4 multiplied by 2 and it is divided by 2 times of 2 becomes here 4 and further in the next step uh, we need to focus inside the square root sign and you see here inside the square root sign we have a 4 be the common term so when we take common 4 we get the remaining values are 1 minus 2 divided by 4 so here we need to apply the square root separately on both of these two values and it will become here 2 plus minus square root of 4 into square root of 1 minus 2 becomes minus 1 and it is divided by 4. So further in the next step we have this is k is equals to 2 plus minus this is square root of 4 becomes 2 into square root of minus 1 becomes iota and it is divided by 4. So further in the next step we need to break this fraction and when we break this fraction it will be written as 2 divided by 4 plus minus 2 divided by 4 into iota. So further in the next step we have this is 2 times 2 becomes 4 and we will get here k is equals to 1 over 2 plus minus. This is also cancelled out by each other and we get here 2 times 2 becomes 4 and we get here 1 over 2 into iota. So these are the two complex values of a given equation and we have only one real root of the given equation r k is equals to 1 divided by 2. So these are the three roots of the given equation and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.